Hurry, hurry up. <laughs> Ready, yo, giggle water and quilt. What you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. everyone and welcome to the unfiltered gentlemen and now breaking the seal all over the finer things of life greg scott and dan oh yeah yeah consider it broken right welcome in everybody the unfiltered gentlemen thank you for listening thanks for joining i'm greg oh there, that's scott what's happening <laughs> he's had a few that's dan hey <laughs> nice and simple yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> welcome into the show like i said thanks for listening thanks for spreading the word had some people tell us, like, hey, my friend told me about your show, and since I like beer, he told me, let's do it, and I did, and you guys don't suck as bad as I thought you would. Yeah. That's, that's as good as a compliment in my book. There you go. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll co-sign by that. If you drink a lot before you listen to us, we even sound better. I drink a lot before I listen to us, too. I drink a lot before I do anything. Right. So, there you go. Uh, that's I wake the, up and drink a lot. That's yeah. the correct answer. <laughs> oh, just like it's the beer girl's sh- uh, shower beer from a there couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the best thing in the world. I still beer. have to enjoy a shower beer. Haven't had one yet? I haven't done it yet. Uh, that's your homework. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I agree. That's you have your an homework. assignment now. That's, that's you need to go work. have a shower beer and then report to us on uh, what the beer was and how it was. Yeah, that's my Tyler oh, yeah. Durden homework. <laughs> <laughs> Everything beer. Right? Yeah. Um, wake up beer, take a shower beer, take a dump beer. I don't mm-hmm. know. Some people wake and bake. I like to wake and drink. <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. That's my homework. Get right to it. Yeah. I don't bake till nighttime. Uh, anyway, so welcome in. Thanks again. Before we get any further, I'll just I'll just say right now, burp word. It, 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 it's going to be a little ambitious. We had a listener submit a burp word of the week, and he said, "Give me hops." Well, he said, "Give me hops or give me death." Wow. And I've decided our, our so our burp phrase, quote unquote, will be "Give me hops." Oh, thank you. But if we can complete the whole thing, "Give me hops or give me death," I will send him some free stuff. All right, Eric, I'm going to work for you, buddy. Hey. I'm probably not. I'm going to give it my yeah. best shot, Eric. You got the right you guy working free for you right now. Yeah. Telling yeah. You. You had I, an off week last week. I did. I choked last week. But I'm gonna, yeah. It's all right. I feel yeah. it coming this week. Yeah. Even Jordan didn't bring it every night. Yeah. You know hey, what I'm you know, you know, you have, Westbrook has a bad night. The next mm-hmm. night he comes out and just, That's right. you know, yeah. just kills it. Even so. Jordan has the flu during the finals <laughs> <Yeah>. in Utah. <laughs> even in, yeah, even his flu game, though. Oh, That's man. true. That's <laughs> Couldn't stop that guy. I know. Scott <laughs> needs a flu game. <laughs> uh, so anyways, give me hops is our burp phrase, but if anybody gets out, give me hops or give me death in any discernible manner, uh, Eric gets some free stuff. So. All right. Good luck to Eric on that. Uh, real quick, want to mention that our ringtone is still available. Just search for Beer Science in the iTunes store or tunes.co. That's two U's. Tunes.co. Uh, thanks for the people that have downloaded. I've been seeing the numbers. We've got a few downloads, which oh, cool. I think is hilarious and awesome and, and actually humbling. I expected it to not be downloaded by anybody, and the fact that people are downloading it and it's getting some numbers is very cool. So hopefully you guys are getting phone calls with your phone on loud while you're in the middle of a conference. <laughs> well, let me, let me stop this. Can you imagine <laughs> you're in a meeting? From a bottle, from a can, why don't people understand my inebriation? <laughs> He's so good. <laughs> Excuse me, I gotta take this. Yeah, uh, Scott. Uh, Scott, what's that? No, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be right back. I, I gotta take this. this Scott, is, call. is that your phone? Yeah, it, it's about my beer. So hang on a second. <laughs> hey, hold on. Hey, hold the meeting for a second. Yeah. Hey, they would say, hey, that's the best ringtone in the world. Yeah, I agree. Probably, it is a hey, it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. I my how pre- do you get that ringtone, Scott? Exactly. Mm, just go to the iTunes store know. and search yeah. for beer science. Beer Telling science me. right there in the iTunes store. I might leave store. my phone just like on, purposely on yeah. loud. I'm like, God damn, did you hear his ringtone? Put it on a page <laughs> system. When did when did like some? <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Large woman. <laughs> when when did Big Mama got it big all? Ma- all, all of a sudden, house. hear your phone going. Big off. Mama's house. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> did you hear Dan's ringtone? Oh, shit, son. Oh god. Yeah. So get you. <laughs> this is how we're starting the show. Uh oh. Get yourself a ringtone. Yeah. Uh, before we get to we beer, we start gr- drinking yet. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jesus. <laughs> before we get to beer, girl, I thought we'd get to our beer of the week. Hey. If you don't mind. Oh yeah. Let's uh, let's talk about what. Grab we're your doing. libations, pals. It's time for hmm, beer the of the week. And if you're drinking, well, you know that you're my friend, and I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. So I've. Put down a brown liquid in front of everybody. Got my libation right yeah. here. Yeah. 
Uh, it came out of a very plain bottle, and that's because they are drinking the official. I hope it doesn't suck brown ale. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. This is my uh, my beer that I brew. This beer. This is my beer. Oh my god! This yes. is homemade brew. Homemade Damn, brew. I've, I've talked a little bit about the process, and uh, here we are. It's been sitting, uh, carving for just a little over two weeks. I think it's pretty well carbonated. And I got to say, this is going to be the first home brew I've actually ever tried outside of someone who's actually you know started commercializing it. Okay. And, like getting wow. into it. This is going to be the first one. What well, a special I mean, night you for had, you. You had James's a couple weeks ago. Correct. All right. So correct. Outside of him being way awesome. Exactly. I mean, and he's got his like nice fancy label. Yeah. And everything, that's you know? true. I mean, he's got it going on. Like you know, here's the first startup. Like this is it. Yeah. So the this official. Is Cherry popping of uh, the unfiltered brew. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So th- I've, I've labeled it the I hope it doesn't suck brown ale. Mm-hmm. It's a hoppy brown ale. I think uh, tasting notes, you, you're going to get a lot of oat when you when you drink it. Uh, a a hint of that. chocolate. Definitely has some hops on the back end. Uh, I dry hopped it twice. Okay. So um, oh, I've done that. Oh, sorry. Dry hopped. Hops. Hops. Hop. 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 Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you what the ABV was, but I have no <laughs> fucking clue. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask you, how did they even come up with that? Like, I have a hydrometer that, that measures the weight, but I don't know how to read it. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Yeah. One step at a time. So this could be... Upwards of 10%. I mean, who knows? Fuck, for all I know, this could be like 38%. <laughs> <laughs> it could also be like 2.5%. <laughs> no, right. This could be uh, a dark Bud Light or something. Right, What's well. Sylvia's number again? <laughs> 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 yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah. We're put her on speed dial here. <laughs> yeah. um, so, I mean, let's be honest. It's uh, definitely not the greatest thing you're going to drink all night, but it uh, gets the job done. Hey, it's, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. This is good for the first time. It's not bad for for, for I, a uh, one off. I mean, like Dan, this is the the first time to drink somebody's first batch, mm-hmm. right? Exactly. I've had other people's you know batch, but it wasn't their first one. Yeah, good news is like it's, not say, it's not sour. No, this is like right. this is good. Thank you. Good on you to like have us taste it too. I mean, I, I like on I said, air. I, I, yeah, <laughs> that too. On, t- on top of uh, everything, but I've had some people that were like, oh, I'm like brewing my beer, and it's like, well, fuck, give me some so I can try it, and they never bring yeah, it over. This is, I mean, so wait a minute, I'm here. It is. I can't see nothing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah just it's going dark. <laughs> um, so it's quite the process, but uh, we're all enjoying the fruits of my labor. Mm-hmm. Correct. Mm-hmm. It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I've learned so much. Thanks to James, who who gave us the couple of beers last week, the East Coast, the West Coast, last week, a couple weeks ago. The East Coast, the West Coast IPA was at two, three weeks ago. Um, throughout the process, I was texting him questions and, and such. Uh, simple things like, um, well, first of all, you told me poured it out of a bomber. I, I asked him, like, what do you think about bottling? He goes, don't even fuck with 12 ounces. Go straight to bombers. Because it, it's half the bottling. Mm-hmm. You know, if you do a 12 ounce, you have to double the oh, amount of bottles. Yeah. So... Duh, it makes sense. So I only bought bombers, and you know, fit perfectly. My five gallons perfectly fit into uh, twenty-four bombers. So that, w- that worked out so well. Um, I was having issues with uh, the second fermentation is in a glass carboy, and it and it has a a rubber <laughs> ready bung that goes in the bung hole, <laughs> and, it, and it kept popping out. So the next morning no I texted, tee-pee? yeah, the next morning I texted him, was like, "What the fuck? You know, the the, the stopper keeps popping out." And he's like, oh, you know, buy a, a carboy cap. And I looked it up on Amazon. I was like, oh, god damn it. I wish this is stuff that the people at the home brew shop would have told me. Obviously, the guy at the home brew shop has been doing this for fucking years. Why do I got to ask somebody else who's been doing it for years? Um, so he's just been a lot of help. He hooked me up with a work cooler that I cannot wait to use on my next batch. Good news is there will be another batch. Oh, nice. I think next time I'll go with like an IPA or a double IPA or something. Ooh. Mm. Try and mix it up. Yeah. Uh, this is a hoppy brown ale. I mean. Look, it's it's uh, it's no. What do we have last week? Enjoy by two fourteen, right. right? But uh, it's also not a Bud Light. Correct. It's pretty hey, drinkable. It, it is. Sure is yeah. Hopefully, it gets a buzz on. I don't know the percentage. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not fucking brown juice. Right. Uh, I I guess I could learn how to use my hydrometer or whatever it's called. So, um, quite the process. I got uh, some pictures. I'll post up on our social medias to show you guys uh, some bottling and some other stuff. Oh, but, cool. Uh, it was fun. It was it was something different, and I hope the bitch upstairs had to smell my uh, <laughs> beer fumes for a week. That bitch, God, I hate her. <laughs> she, she's probably drunk for weeks. I yeah. hope. God, I hope she got so drunk she fell off her balcony. I can't oh. stand her. <laughs> I think she walks around with clogs at all hours. Sometimes it sounds like she's bowling. I'm pretty sure she is. 
A little bowling alley up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so uh, beer of the week is my I hope it doesn't suck brown ale. Cheers, And fellas. it doesn't. It's good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Uh, let's hear about a better beer from It's the Beer Girl. Sure. Oh. What's this? <laughs> a broad drinking beer must be a she-devil. Hey, y'all. It's the Beer Girl here. And this week, I broke into some of the beers that were gifted to me for Christmas. So I got a couple special ones. There was one in particular that I wanted to tell you about. And it was gifted to me by my dad. So thank you, Dad. It's a collaboration between Trillium Brewing Company, which is a highly regarded brewery here in Massachusetts, and a brewery in Belgium, whose name I'm not even going to try and pronounce because I would embarrass myself completely. It is called Bouquet, and it is a farmhouse ale or a saison. So this style of beer was on the endangered species list for a while. Um, It was typically brewed in the winter to be drank during the summer. but it's, it's seeing a comeback now, especially here in the U.S. It pours a straw yellow color, and it's pretty bubbly. It's got a strong aroma, too. I smell like peaches, and it's pretty floral. The flavor is pretty tart. It has that dry mouthfeel that you get when you, have, when you eat like a grapefruit. The flavor also makes me think of cherries. I can definitely see why this would be a traditional summer beer. It's super refreshing. It's kind of just like a fizzy lemonade, except better. I realized that I made that beer sound like Mike's Her Lemonade, and I would just like to clarify that it is nothing like that at all. (laughs) It's very good. Some people just can't get behind sours, but I really like them. I think they're they're tasty, and they're a fun way to, to mix up the beer experience. And this is a particularly good one. It's also got really nice bottle art um and it also has a 6.5 abv and a 92 score on beer advocate sipping on this beer really makes me wish it was summer right now as i am surrounded by almost two feet of snow here in western mass what's that but (laughs) summer is coming soon and there will be more tasty beers and sours in store for me so i will be daydreaming about that until i talk to you guys next time i thought you had a drive to get the snow I know, right? It just happens at people's houses. You just look yeah, at it, look at it at the mo- on the mountain. Yeah, right? like you have to like drive there. It takes a couple hours yeah. at least. That's what I was telling my do. buddy because he lives down in Milwaukee, and he's like, "Oh yeah," he goes, "You know, for what you pay, you know, for you know your house, the insane amount of money." Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. I pay for this mansion. I'm like, yeah, and you only had to fucking <laughs> uh, shovel up your driveway like ten times this year, right? right? Yeah, yeah. So you know that's what you pay for here in California, I guess. So. Yeah, you had to break out an umbrella less times than he had to shovel. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. And it rained a lot for California. Shoveling yeah. sucks. Yeah, I mean, I have a dog. <laughs> I have to shovel up shit. We only and have I brown get mad snow about that. Here. Yeah, exactly. Oh God. Uh, thank you, beer girl. You can follow her on Instagram at it's the beer girl as well as Facebook, and you can. Find Find her it's the beer girl dot blogspot dot com. She's always posting beer reviews and more in depth uh, drinking sessions that she has. So check her out there. Uh, and, and like we always say, she sounds way more <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smart than we are. She's a certified beer server now. She's taking the test. She's wow, smart. that's right. Is that right? Correct. Maybe I need to send her one of my uh, halfway mediocre beers to have her at talk this about point. It. Yeah, I like, think you got to do it. Maybe she yeah. can make it sound good. Hells yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to. Mm. Uh, before we get to Dan's movie, yeah. just want to mention once again, if you guys want any uh, free craft beer coasters slash unfiltered gentlemen coasters and stickers, it's real simple. All you got to do is submit something we can use in the show, like a Tales from Uber or a beer review or anything along those lines, and uh, you're good to go. And like we were saying earlier, if Eric gets the whole give me hops or give me death, probably only from Scott over here, <laughs> trying Eric, you'll, hey. you'll get something free. You may want to keep those beer phrase or burp phrases down to uh, you know not an entire paragraph, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what we we'll can work do on here. it though. Hey man, I'll short, work on it. A yeah. short story at least. So far, I've only been <laughs> farting. I haven't been able to burp yet. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> oh, that's bad news. He's like Ace Venturi. He talks out of his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to have some banaka? <laughs> <laughs> I've not seen that movie in so long. I love that movie. Oh dear. All right. Uh let's let's talk a little movie action. Yeah. Have you seen the latest moving picture? Let's talk movies for guys. All right. So this weekend I watched uh Kung Fu Killer. Oh. Yeah, which is um Are you pandas in that? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, no, right? Panda. It was funny because, yeah, I was looking up the IMDb for this movie, and uh, obviously you come across Kung Fu Panda and all this other bullshit, but right. like uh, the movie actually comes up as Kung Fu Jungle. Because I believe... Oh, I saw that pop up when I was Googling it. Correct. I thought that was a different movie. No, it is the same movie. Um, The reason I think that they were able to give it the original title, which was Kung Fu Killer, for the United Kingdom and the United States, because... Other countries obviously aren't gonna, you know, stand for this killer bullshit. They had to like change it for China and Japan or whatever. Oh else. come on! Yeah, because you know that's how they roll over there. But we're bitches. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> here in the good old U.S. of A. We're okay with your killers mm-hmm. as long as you're not Muslim. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Trump says. That's not my stance. But anyways, uh, uh, as long as you say cunt, I think it's okay. <laughs> yeah, like three and, words you can't say. And if we can grab you by the pussy. <laughs> yeah we're good no we can say pussy we just can't say kung. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah, this is a uh, kung fu killer and this stan- uh this movie came out in 2014 and uh it stars uh donnie yen and uh you- oh yeah, yeah now yeah see now, yeah. now i got your attention he's uh from the ip man uh trilogy oh you talked about that a couple months ago i did that's yes. right and uh he's also if you've seen uh rogue one He's the dude doing all the kung fu and beating the shit out of everybody in that movie. I'm about to disappoint a whole lot of people. <laughs> I've never seen Rogue One. Well, if oh. you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. But, um, I mean, <laughs> Don, Donnie Yen, is, he's a badass. Uh, he's probably, like, on that next, like, he's the the new generation, I would say, of, uh, like, a Jet Li or, like, Ooh, a Jackie wow. Chan. You know, every generation is that new kung fu dude. Donnie Yen is that dude. And uh, Kung Fu Killer... Um, I really enjoyed this movie because it, it takes uh, two portions of two movies, I would say. It, it's half Silence of the Lambs and it's half Game of Death but from Bruce Lee hmm. in the sense. And uh, because Donnie Yen, he's locked up in jail for having killed a man. But um, Brick out- killed a guy. <laughs> <laughs> but out in the real world, out in uh, China, there's this dude and he's he's. Just a little background music. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's killing all the kung fu masters. Oh, so man. So he's the kung fu killer. And uh, they, uh, the, the police have come to Donnie Yen to kind of find out some kind of intel on him. Like, hey, you know, you've killed a guy. You're in jail for that. Who is this guy after? Do you know who he is? Do you know? So kind of Donnie Yen is on mm-hmm. that Hannibal Lecter kind of thing where he's like, okay, I, I know what this guy wants to do and how he's doing it. I can kind of predict. So he he's out on he's he's out of jail to try to try to help the police catch this dude. Okay. Yeah. So they're telling him, hey, you know, the first guy he killed was a, a boxing martial artist. You know, the next guy, and he beat the shit out of him. You know, the next guy was, you know, uh, specialized in kicks and he kicked the shit out of him. He goes, what's next? You know, and Donnie Yen kind of jumps on it and says, well, okay, the next guy is obviously going to be probably grappling, you know, and they get to that guy too late and he's all, you know, all all his limbs are beat up and broken and everything from grappling. Sounds like he's just going through like different MMA camps. He is. He is. And that's where the kind of you get the 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 Bruce Lee game of death or like, you know, Bruce Lee in that movie is kind of going through. Each stage, like, uh, 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 he's beating up all the Kung Fu masters leading up to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at the end. Who, oh, my God. Wait, what? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Have you guys never seen Game of Death? No. Uh, no. Okay, well, that'll be another review for me, I guess, at some <laughs> point. But, um, yeah, but Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is in that movie. The, the, sorry. Now I got to talk about that movie for one second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the coolest part of that movie is when Kareem Abdul-Jabbar shows up. Yeah, and yeah. he fights Bruce Lee. He plants a kick on his chest. His foot is the size of Bruce Lee's chest. <laughs> he leaves like a dirt mark on him. Did, like did he uh, put a sky hook on him? <laughs> no, <laughs> but he leaves a big ass foot. I was like, holy <laughs> shit, this guy is huge. But Even Kareem has a better finisher than the Big Show. <laughs> he does. Stupid punch. Okay, but but anyways, b- back back to the movie. Yes. Did he beat up the Karate Kids guy? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. No. But, no, he um, beats it, Mister Whatever. It's a good is. movie, Bruce Lee versus Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. You got me. Really? I gotta watch it. Yeah, yeah I'll G- have to good see movie. That. Mm. Okay, but I'm sorry. I, mean, I thought Kareem was good in uh, <laughs> airplane. 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 Yeah, yeah right. Yes. <laughs> um, but okay, but back to uh, Kung Fu Killer. So um, basically, th- this dude is running around and he's he's killing all the Kung Fu masters and he's destroying them at what supposedly their masters at, and it's Donnie Yen's job to kind of beat him to the punch. No pun intended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's supposed to find the guy before he kills the next dude. 
Um, and, and it's really good. It's 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 a really good movie. I, I enjoy Donnie Yen's movies and um, the kung fu choreography. Uh, apparently, this movie's won a lot of uh, awards in Hong mm. Kong. Oh, all right. Yeah. So um, I think on, on IMDb, I think it has like a six and a half stars or something like that. Um, out, Net- of, out of a hundred, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> out of ten. <laughs> um, I know Netflix; they have a little more generous, four and a half stars. Um, but uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this movie. Um, there's a lot of good fight scenes. I know one dude uh, pops out in this movie, and he has a fight with the kung fu killer. And he's a dude that's kind of popped up. If you've watched uh, Ip Man with Donnie Yen, um, his name I believe is uh, oh geez, no, I'm put myself on the spot here. Uh, Su Wong Fan. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, he, but if you've seen the Ip Man. He's uh, the early. You know, he's the young guy that kind of pops up, and he starts beating up all the kung fu masters. And when he reaches Donnie Yen, they have a really good showdown. He's uh, he's re- you know he's a young athletic dude that uh, that uh, his kung fu is 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 really fast and quick. And, it, and I thought it mixed well with the kung fu killer when they have their little showdown uh, because he's the weapons expert. So they're they're kind of like he said. I, I think he tried you know looking for a clip. Uh, for this, yes. and I do apologize. This is the <laughs> second foreign film in two weeks yeah, that I've reviewed. Subtitles. I did find a great clip where it was just sort of fighting. So right. I was like, cling, 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 cling. <laughs> and that was the dude, I believe. That was, uh, it was probably um, um, Su Wang Fan versus oh, the Kung yeah. Fu Killer. Mm. So he's the weapons expert. They're fighting with swords. And uh, yeah, like I said, you know, um, the Kung Fu Killer, he, he ends up, you know, fighting about, you know, five, four times at least. You know, you got you got boxing, you got kicking, you got grappling, you got weapons, and uh, it all leads up to when he he has to fight Donnie Yen, obviously, and um, that that's a nice uh, uh, kung fu match that takes place um, on on a freeway of all places. Nice. Yeah, and uh, Donnie Yen um, was locked up in jail for killing a man. He was said it he road rage. <laughs> no, oh, okay. No. Sorry, it's not LA. No, they're not driving, so oh, uh, the, oh, everyone's oh. safe. Oh, okay, except the people they're fighting. It's yeah. not Fast and the Furious. We don't want Asians. <laughs> yeah. fi- we don't want Asians driving. Yeah. yeah, fighting is okay. Fast and Furious, Beijing drift, <laughs> <laughs> Beijing drift. <laughs> but um, but it, 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 it's a really nice uh, climactic ending to the to the movie. Um, you kind of wonder if Donnie Yen's going to break his rule where he said that he would never kill another man, but you know he's got to do this. And uh, it, it's a really good movie. Um, I liked it. If you're into that whole kung fu kind of deal, I am. And uh, Donnie Yen's the man right now. So, I mean, a- anything where he's in it, I'm sold. I'm going to watch it. So, I really you, dug it. What do you give it? I, I give it another four caps, I got to say. All right. Four caps four out caps. of five. Yep. That's wow, right. Again, that's like good. I said, you got to be ready to read some subtitles. Like I said, second year, <laughs> a second week in a row, I couldn't bring a, a clip because it's all you know foreign gibberish that we don't understand. So, so don't get too drunk. Yeah, that's true. Gonna, you got to keep up and read a little bit. Got to so. do a fair bit of reading. It's, it's a good movie, though. Nice. I all recommend right. it. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, do you find that reading subtitles takes you out of the film at all? No. Uh, and really? I was going to say that, um, I, I, like I said, I had watched the Ip Man series, the Ip Man trilogy. Uh, parts one and two are in uh, Chinese with uh, English dubs. And I mm. prefer that because I kind of feel in the third movie when you they prefer did, the dubs? No. Oh, the <laughs> subtitles. Or the <laughs> dubs. Yeah, them either. But uh, <laughs> I don't like the Warriors. But uh, but uh, in the Ip Man three, I kind of felt like the dubs took me out of it because all of a sudden Ip Man, you know Donnie Yen's character, sounded all weird. I'm like, oh, who the hell is this oh, guy? Yeah. Uh-huh. So I prefer their natural voice in their native tongue, mm-hmm. and you know I'll just follow along and read it. So that that's what I prefer. This movie is in in uh, English subtitles, spoken with Chinese language. So mm-hmm. that's what I prefer. But all right, you know, to each his own. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Dig it. All right, go see uh, Kung Fu Killer. Not to be confused with Kung Fu Panda. It is. <laughs> Especially if you have children. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, crotch talk. I don't really have a crotch talk. I don't have a grievance to share. But I did want to mention something. Um, Dan, as we all know, and if you don't, you will now, is a huge fan of the hip hop scene. I am. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> <You> couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, I found myself, you know, I, I loved it back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day when it was good. Yep. You know? Yeah, I like know what you're talking about. 90s, early That's right. 2000s. Mm-hmm. The other day I was out for a jog and uh, I couldn't decide what to listen to. <laughs> and I hit up Pandora and I, I, I just typed in 90s hip hop. And I was so fucking happy. <laughs> wow. I forgot how goddamn good that shit was. Oh, yeah. 
Holy, I got Snoop Dogg, I got Dre, I got early Eminem, mm -hmm. I had uh, all kinds of shit. That's what I grew up on, man. Yeah, Cube, mm -hmm. fucked around, got a triple double. That's right. Oh, man. It was so, I grew up on that, too. Like, I, when I was in high school, I prided myself on my sound system, <laughs> as they call it. That's right. Uh, rattling the fuck out of uh, some car alarms that I drove by. Mm -hmm. God damn, that was nice. Yeah. So I've been in some talks with a mutual friend of ours that gave us our bottle cap shooters. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to try and work on a game for Dan. Ooh. Where he has to identify the song. Ooh. Oh, uh, you guys. I, I'm going to just say this in the beginning. You guys better come with it. Oh, yeah, right. Because, come with it. Because All right. I'm going to say uh, I was at a bachelor party uh, maybe, I don't know, like five years ago or something like that. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, Drunk off my ass. I don't remember the questions they were asking me, but I was murdering all the answers. I was just so like, murder was the case <laughs> <laughs> that they gave me. Yeah. That's true. But uh, I mean, they had asked me like, who are the four original members of the of NWA? Oh, even white people know that. It, well, I was like, I was like, don't you mean five? <laughs> and they were like, what? I was what like, do you mean? I was like, everyone forgets about Yella. They're like, oh, shit. And, and I was right. And I was drunk off my ass. I don't remember them asking me any of the questions. So you questions. had an unfair advantage. You were yeah. drunk. Yeah. Well, on top of all that, I know this shit in my sleep. So I'm just saying, if you guys are going to come I'm up with excited. a game. I mean, we're talking like half a second. And you have to recognize it. Or we're going to reverse some clips. I mean, it's going to be good. So we're working on it. And uh, I'm excited to bring it. Me too. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> I just want to hear all that music again, yeah, honestly. You're right up Dan's alley. Hey, you ever heard of that uh, radio station? Sorry, this is local. I don't know if anyone's going to be around for this, but uh, 106.3 Spin FM? No. That's got all the old school rap oh, and really? everything. Oh, yeah. All the good stuff? All the good stuff. That is garbage with like the EDM backgrounds nope. and shit. Yeah, I, I can't stand that yeah. stuff. Yeah. A little wheezy, go fuck yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 106.3 Spin FM. All right, I got to check that out. Mm -hmm. So you're listening to this while you're jogging yeah you like start to feel lazy and wanting to smoke a joint <laughs> and eat See, brownies and stuff I, my jog didn't last too long <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying I, I can't listen to that i'll I have to bump it to like dmx pandora or something <laughs> when i'm running like <laughs> y'all gonna make me lose my mind <laughs> x gonna give it to you <laughs> <laughs> <It's bullshit. laughs> hey marty calm down <laughs> oh dog's going crazy oh man oh you're such a rough rider <laughs> Anyways, so thank you, uh, 90s Hip Hop on Pandora. You're my new favorite station. Mm -hmm. This comes from the guy whose favorite band is like Foo Fighters. Oh, well, hey. There's, there's nothing wider than the Foo Fighters. There isn't. So uh, that was good times. All right. Old timey word of the week. It's more of like a fucking paragraph. It's don't take any wooden nickels. <laughs> don't take any wooden nickels. That means don't do anything dumb. That's right. Yeah. You've got this one on lock, pal. <laughs> Don't take any wooden nickels and mess up the bubs. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I knew the bubs are going to work themselves in you there so bring the bubs in every oh, week. They always do. If there's no bubs, it's just not worth it. That's, That's true. true. Just not worth it. That so, should be like the quote of the show. <laughs> if there's no bubs, it's just not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's true. Uh, I think I think uh, rappers need to work bubs into their raps now. All the time. Yeah. All the We're time. We're tired of hearing about bitches and hoes. Yeah, come Wanna on. Hear about bubs. Want to hear about bubs. And choice bit of calico. Yeah. There you go. Try rapping about that. Yeah. That's right. Pussies. What rhymes with bubs? Bitches with bubs. And dubs. Dubs. Oh. Throw your dubs up and get your bubs out. <laughs> 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 We're so gangster. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. All right. So that's Old Time of the World of the Week and a uh, little beer babe of the week. Hot damn, fellas. It's dish of the day. Her name is Chanel. You can find her on the Instagrams mm. at Hoppily Ever After. H O P P I L Y. That's nice. That's nice. Ever After. And like then there's an underscore at the end. So Hoppily Ever After underscore. underscore. No spaces. Ooh, that anything. means someone must have took that original idea there. Maybe. Probably. Or maybe like got shut down or something. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, she does like herself a tasty craft beer from time to time. Oh, nice. nice. She's easy on the eyes. She sure is. Oh, yes. Yeah. So give yourself uh, beer dubs. That's it. <laughs> bubs, dubs, suds bubs. and dubs. Subs and dubs. It almost works. Suds and dubs. Uh, go go follow her on the uh, the Instagram at oh nice there you go. at Hopley Ever After underscore Hopley Ever After. Hopley. I like that. That's a good one, right? I like mm -hmm. that. I like girls that like hobby beers. 
Oh yeah. You know. It, Wait, it's, no. Because no? then they're drinking all my shit. There is that problem. Yeah, you got to hide your luponic distortions right. mm. for sure. Uh, but it's nice to find a girl that enjoys and appreciates a nice IPA. I suppose. It's rare. Yeah. There's a place for it. It's rare. Not my place. <laughs> <laughs> More like your place. Yeah. But there is a place it's, for yeah. it, I suppose. Yeah, it is kind of nice when you have a girl that doesn't drink at all, and you have a permanent so desi- saying, designated driver. Mm-hmm. DD. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. DD for D. <laughs> Wow. It's the old D trifecta <laughs> there. D trifecta. <laughs> All right. Uh, new segment on the show here. Mm. I'm working on a song. I've uh, sent it off to the song people. Hopefully, it'll be right here. here let's play this instead. Uh, hopefully, it'll be ready. <laughs> is it soon. that guy? It's not this guy. Oh, damn it. That guy's a genius. He is a genius, but this is a uh, rap. So oh, uh, I figure oh. it's kind of a little out of his expertise. Super there. white guy may not get it right. Okay. Um, so, anyways, new, sh- new segment on the show. Uh, that was intru- that was uh, given to me by of all people my lady friend. She's like, you guys need to do a uh, segment where it's not so expensive to get drunk. I agree. I agree too. Hey, hey, I love drinking on a budget. Yeah. Well, she's like, you should call Cheap boozing drunk. on a budget. I was like, that's a oh, great name. Nice. Instead Fuck. of instead of balling on a budget, we're boozing on a there budget. You go. I like it. I like. But that's here's good. the parameters. Like, we're not drinking, you know, PBR to booze on a budget. It's got to be good stuff. I agree. So I thought about it long and hard, and I uh, found myself at TJ's. And once again, thank you to listener Holly, who uh, last week gave us uh, some some goods to go find some beers to drink on the show. Mm-hmm. Here's what I came across. Uh, it's spelt Boatswain, but you say it Boatswain. It's Boatswain, B-O-A-T, like a boat, S-W-A-I-N. Boatswain, Twin Screw Steamer Double IPA. Hmm. It's tasty stuff. It is. Uh, it's a double IPA. It's got a 64 on Beer Advocate, which is a, is a little low in my <laughs> opinion. Oh, wow. Mm. And it comes, I mean... That I mean, you have it right here in front of us. Right. That's it. That's that's on a budget. Well, here's the thing: five bucks, six pack. Holy shit! Bomber, three bucks. What the fuck? And wow. on top of all that, you're thinking like, all right, that's that's a decent budget. That's not a great budget. Yes, it is because eight point four percent. Right. Damn, it's good so, too. So you're gonna catch a buzz. Look, this is no super fancy stone. I don't know. Enjoy by two fourteen, <laughs> correct, <laughs> or anything like that. Correct. You're not going to drink this and go. This is the best beer I've ever had. Or I'm going to write to the unfiltered gentleman and tell him how amazing it is. That's not what you're getting out of this. This is a tasty double IPA that, uh, let's be honest, tastes more like an IPA, but because it's high on the alcohol, becomes a double IPA. Mm-hmm. Right. It's a fairly tasty double IPA that's got a good. Uh, we'll call it a buzz percentage. <laughs> That's, ABV should stand for average buzz volume or something like or that. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Put buzz in there. Yeah. A, a, so the ABV is 8.4. 8. Uh, so it's got a good amount of alcohol, a good amount of flavor. You're not drinking a Bud Light or a PBR or right. some shit like that. And that's what's important to me, too. Like, if I'm not going to spend a lot of money, right? like, I still want some bang for my buck. I don't want to go out and have to buy some Budweiser right. or Right. Look, you're not getting paid for two more days. You're kind of at the end of your paycheck, but you need right. to get a buzz on. Right. And, and you got yourself maybe, like, a, uh, a couple of hamburgers that you're having for dinner. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, like, I used to get the three-pack of the tall cans of Tecate, yeah. but I can't drink it anymore. Because it tastes like shit. That's right. You're welcome. So, like, I need I've something. ruined you. <laughs> <laughs> that that tastes something that my palate can recognize, and this is what I'm talking right. about right here. So, this drinks like an IPA. Mm-hmm. It buzzes you like a double IPA, and it's five bucks for a six-pack or three bucks for a bomber. At Trader Joe's. There you go. I'm saying you can't Good. go wrong with that. Can't. Cheap buzz, man. Yeah. I like it. You're boozing on a budget, and you're not yeah. drinking PBR or Natty Light. Not drinking or trash. Like yeah. yeah. Look, like I said, this is not uh, top shelf liquor over here, but it's very passable, and you're going to get a buzz. And from it's a it. double IPA. I mean, what do you want? Yeah. Come on, man. Hopheads, uh, you'll be all right. Oh, yeah. You homeless drunks, you know, after you collect the money on the corner, you get <laughs> in there and. Right. Sarcasian, Sarcasian probably a approves. Oh, I bet he does. Yeah. yeah, Steve's never been one to turn down alcohol. They no. got to make a lot of money on that corner. I mean, if you think oh, about no, it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I've thought about it once a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking like, hey, what if instead of work, I called in and just hung around this corner? <laughs> bet you I make more. Put on my probably. clothes and right. Yep. 
And, and even if you have like a funny sign where it's like, let's be honest, I'm getting beer money. Or right. Something, yeah. You're more likely to give. Exactly. Because I mean, oh, that's a good sign. Let me yeah, give you yeah. 10 bucks. <laughs> oh, you're a funny guy here. Yeah. Yeah. Anytime it says anything about beer money, I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. Here's, some, here's some dollars. I feel oh, yeah. bad. Yeah. You, he like, needs beer money. Yeah. I bet you I just like write, that's right, on a cardboard <laughs> box. <laughs> Someone be like, shit, that's right. It, it is, is right. right. Here you go. Right. Yeah. You're right. It's right. Here's a, here's a five spot. Yeah, go no get kidding. a six pack of Bo, Bo Sun Double IPA. Five dollars for five minutes standing on the corner. Yeah, that's right. Sounds good to me. Now, that. You're, now you're boozing. Tax on a, free. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> now you're boozing on a budget. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, boozing on a budget, working on a song, but uh, I think it's a very important segment. And uh, I don't know if it's going to be next, but very soon for boozing on a budget, I've got. Do uh, you guys like bourbon? Sure. To get alcohol in it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I've got a really good bourbon that you can get for uh, a pretty decent price to help you booze on a budget. Right so on. That'll that'll be coming up very soon, and uh, a couple other beers I have in line for boozing on a budget. So that'll be cool. our, that'll be new. I'm, I'm excited about it. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, me too. Because we can't always afford the uh, the price you yeah. Right. I mean, hey, man, it's it's an expensive game out here, dude. That's right. Sometimes the paycheck runs out, and you got to wait a couple That's days. Till Friday. You get some craft beer on a budget. That's what I'm talking hey, about. Hey, maybe you spend all your money on you know good beer, and now you still want to get a buzz, but you right. don't have any money. But you're That's out of right. money for good beer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this is good stuff. Exactly. Hell yeah. yeah. So uh, check out the Bo Sun uh, Twin Screw Steamer Double IPA from Trader Joe's. Once again, five bucks, six pack. You can't go wrong. How much is a Bud Light six pack? Like yeah, no kidding. Six bucks, about the same thing. Yeah, it's and like you're five, getting better bucks. quality out of it, and a sh- it, it almost double the alcohol. Right. As, on top of all that, on yeah. top of the quality, you get better. You got more alcohol. Yeah, exactly. I love more it. More buzz for your buck. There it oh. is. Oh, we just found our tagline. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit! There it <laughs> is. Losing on a budget. More buzz for your buck. More buzz you for your buck. <laughs> Very nice. I love it. All right. Uh, before we get out of here, let's let's talk a little. News. Extra, extra, fellas. It's news for you. Oh, it is indeed. Uh, as if we needed more reasons to drink, here are six reasons that you should all be drinking beer. <laughs> Number one, it increases bone density. Ooh. You got me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> done and done. I'm yeah. drinking. Number two, beer lowers the risk of heart attack. I'll live forever. Yeah. Really? I must have the best heart ever. Man. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Fuck all your hearts. That's right. Uh, number heart three. two-year-old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I really drunk two-year-old. <laughs> number three, beer lowers your col- your cholesterol level. I must have no cholesterol. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> at, at what point on the back of the can do you see uh, cholesterol in, That's the, true. in the nutrition facts? That's true. In fact, you don't see any nutrition facts. Uh <laughs> Number Can't f- read them if they're right. <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking for nutrition packs on a beer. Stop <laughs> drinking beer. <laughs> you're drunk. <laughs> Number four, beer decreases your risk of getting diabetes. Oh, cool. Really? Unless you're drinking, like, what, chocolate, coffee, beer? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <Oops. Yeah. laughs> I've had a few of those lately. Excuse me. Uh, number five, beer can prevent kidney stones. Hmm. Let me tell you, as someone who's had them twice... Should have been drinking earlier. Have you really? Yes. Yeah. Holy shit, I dude. was 17 the first time. Really? That was my problem is I wasn't drinking beer. <laughs> Holy crap, bad. man. Yeah. At age 17 and 19, I had kidney stones. Oh, my God. And uh, I should have done a little underage drinking. Yeah, I felt so yeah, bad. a little bit. Mm-hmm. I should have been giving this kid beer. Yeah. It, it is your fault. It is my fault. It is. Yeah. Dude, that's rough. Yeah. I'll, I'll I take that to that. my grave. I, I honestly haven't had a kidney stone yeah. yet. And it's Keep drinking beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep drinking beer. Keep You'll drinking be okay. Beer. And here I thought I beer was. Okay. I thought beer would increase that that chance. No, I think you're good. Uh, though. No, you know what's funny? <laughs> Let's go all scientific. Kidney stones are very often uh, calcium based. So if you drink a lot of milk. Oh man, yeah. I don't drink that milk. Yeah, the doctor asked me when I had it the first time. He's like, "Do you drink milk?" I was like, "I fucking hate milk." <laughs> like, oh really? I wonder what the you know. But he found it. He said it was calcium based. Obviously, there's other sources of calcium. True. And milk's not the only, you know, it's your DNA. Wow, that's very else, interesting. I never knew that. Yeah. So, uh, drink lots of beer. Yeah. And Semen's a lot hey. of calcium. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, never mind. I, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> that took a turn. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Uh, drink a lot of beer. And, uh, you know, if your kid's like 17 and, and <laughs> complain of lower back pain, give him some more beer. Yeah. Just God dump dang. the beer down him. Yeah. There you go. Can I tell you, like, when the first time I had him, I was still in high school. Yeah. And it was It was finals week. And I was cracked out on on Vicodin. <laughs> oh God, what, some other I forget the other drug. I was on two different drugs, 
Best finals I ever did. <laughs> no joke. Best finals. Aren't they like giving you morphine in two? In the hospital, I had morphine. Yeah, but like outside, oh, oh out when you got out. Yeah, yeah. But before I went into the hospital, is before I went to the hospital. Like they were like, oh, you'll pass them. <laughs> Didn't pass them. Um, I, was, I was on Vicodin and something else. I can't remember the name of the drug, but I was on two different drugs, just fucking high as a kite. <laughs> Best finals grades Dang. I ever had. Aced it. Aced them. Well, one of my buddies like showed up late to a draft. I'm like, what happened to you, man? He's like, dude, I just got out of the hospital. I had like kidney stones. Oh, Everyone's mm. like, no excuses, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> Damn. What the fuck are you doing here late? <laughs> wow. Pussy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they hurt. That's what, Let me tell you. Oh, when yeah. I, when I, when the first time when I passed it, I threw up from the pain. Well, fuck. I mean, I, I've looked online and like they were saying like, you know, chicks that were like pregnant and had a child mm-hmm. said like kidney stones are like worse yeah. than having a child. I'm like, holy shit. That's a doctor told me. He's like, it's going to feel like you're having birth. It's like, well, I have no point of reference. <laughs> right. <laughs> First of all. Yeah. Thanks for comparing <laughs> yeah. it to yeah. nothing. Yeah. I don't, I haven't had any kids myself. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Uh, 17 years old. You barely know what that is. You're right. Fuck. I had a few. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, God damn, it's horrible. Anyways, we're That's talking about good. reason to drink beer. That's oh, right. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, avoid no. kidney stones. Stones yeah. are a good reason. Avoid That's the right. stones. Yeah. Kidney and rolling, because the rolling stones are fucking garbage. Oh. oh. I said it here. Oh, oh. I said wow. it here. The Beatles are That hurt somebody oh, around here, I think. Oh, that hurt yeah, somebody. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Beatles are so much better. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. no! Uh, and then finally, number six, beer protects. Oh, this would be good for you, Scott. Oh, uh, good. Beer, beer protects from dementia. What? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where am I? You better drink some more. <laughs> I got to give me another beer, yeah. please. He's so yeah. far into dementia, he thinks the Rolling Stones are better than the Beatles. Oh, oh. 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 yeah, you gotta stop it, man. It's like saying like fucking Wait Nas minute, is so better than Tupac or something. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll start getting ro- mad over here. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? People don't remember Nas. Come on. <laughs> oh. He's pretty good. So when I'm sober, I have dementia, and when I'm drinking, I'm drunk. So it's all pretty hey, much balances the same. out. Yeah. yeah, feels the same. Yeah, mm-hmm. so that explains a lot. Yeah, agreed. Uh, 2016 was a record year for U.S. grown hops. That's good news oh, for us. That's good. Uh, they grew 52,962 52, acres of hops in the United States. In the United States. Yeah. Are we leading the league? In well, hops, I th- yeah, for 2016 we are. Wow, mm-hmm. I think we consumed about 52,000 of them. Yeah, wow. 962. <laughs> <laughs> right here luck. on this show. That's yeah. interesting then, because I, I know that I, other countries are getting in all that uh, craft beer mm-hmm. thing, but like if we're killing all the hops, you know what I mean? Like, well, it, it's it's been a little hard to get hops lately, so it's good that we're making more. I know New Zealand hops are very popular right oh, now yeah. too. Can you so, imagine when they have like a like a like a stronghold on that shit? Oh man! And like you know, like the Middle East with the oil. <laughs> and now gets, it's time to go to war. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Somebody yeah. gets. We're a going to war with hops. New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your hops, motherfucker. Yeah. We're gonna bomb the Lord of the Rings set. <laughs> George Bush gonna be back for a third term. <laughs> Give us the hops. <laughs> Sounded a little Arnoldy. <laughs> Give us the hops. Give us the hops. Yeah. Get to the hops. <laughs> Get to the hopper. Vote for Get Arnold. Get to the hopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Arnold. Drink with me if you want to live. There you go. Yes, found it. <laughs> found it. Our uh, our good friends over at the Booze League. I'll be drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, actually. Okay. <laughs> our good friends over at the Booze League, who Daniel so graciously annihilated during fantasy football. I did. Way to go. Thank you for... Uh, the competition, I guess. I, I, I don't know what you call or, that. Or lack thereof. I guess. Yeah, you and I them. Yeah. I made them feel good about themselves. <laughs> you did, yeah. And then you killed them. That's what you were there for. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you made them feel good yeah. and, and relaxed. Yeah, they were like, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's like, the these guys aren't so bad. These guys are yeah. a pushover. And then, and then yeah. Dan, Dan came in and ran in. them all over. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's Fuck right. those guys. Yeah, so I, I distracted the referee on that. No third down holding calls for them. Uh, anyway, so our friends over the Booze League had a great article that I thought we should talk about. It's uh, centered around Andre the Giant and all the alcohol he consumed. Oh, he was legendary. Oh, oh my God. God. Legendary. I mean, he's no no uh, hyperbole here. No. A hero. He is. Oh, yeah. A hero. It's true. So I'll just run down some quick facts. Here you we guys go. You can find more uh, details at the Booze League. Legendary. Uh, no the, excuse me, at BoozeLeague.com. This is an awesome article. 
Having gotten there, you already think it's awesome. Uh, it's got to be. be. It's under it the giant good. drinking. Yeah. Uh, one time he drank 119 cans of beer in under six hours. Oh, my God. I believe it. Yep. I believe it, and I respect it. He drank 127 pints of beer in one night. Damn. Hero. Mm-hmm. His all-time record is 156 pints in one sitting. Fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm-hmm. Isn't that insane? 7,000. 7,000. Is the estimated number of booze calories he consumed <laughs> daily? Wow, daily hero! Oh my god! No wonder he had a growing problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can put all that fucking calories, man. Andre drank every bottle of vodka on the on the plane on a flight to Tokyo. <laughs> Believe it. According to woo, Rick Flair. Rick Flair. It was a flight from Chicago to Tokyo, which is about thirteen hours. In the Giants' defense, that's a long time trapped in a vacuum-sealed <laughs> tube over the Eastern Hemisphere, surrounded by people Got him. a quarter of his size. Uh, six bottles of wine was his warm-up before WWF wrestling matches. That's a warm-up. Uh, he once ran up a $40,000 bar tab with his favorite drink, the American. The American is a 40-ounce malt liquor concoction that Andre would guzzle relentlessly for some uh, insight as to what the massive... Craft a cocktail taste like we go to Car Carrie Elves, Andre's co star in The Princess Bride. I've never tasted airplane fuel, he says, but I imagine it's very close to what that must taste like. <laughs> it's very potent indeed, and I remember coughing a lot. I, but to him it was like chugging water. I, I'm almost in tears here thinking that Andre the Giant never met Steve Sarkazian. Mm. It's like if that. I wonder if they're related. Sark would have been like his little buddy. I mean, talk about talk, <laughs> a mini me. Yeah. yeah, talk about a match made in heaven right there. That'd mm. have been awesome. And this is that forty thousand tab. Forty thousand. We're tab? talking in how many years ago? Right. So yeah. Like, oh, that's yeah. true. You got to yeah. judge for inflation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No kidding. I mean, Sark ran Holy. up a tab himself, but forty thousand. Forty thousand. What twenty thirty years ago? No kidding. Yeah. Damn. That's, that's true. Pushing a hundred G's oh, or something. Geez. God damn. Uh, and finally, he once responded to a last call with an order for 40 drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're going to turn down a guy that's seven feet okay, tall. Okay, I've done that. I mean, 40, yeah. 40 drinks? Uh, go ahead, sir. Yeah. Last mm-hmm. call? Okay, here. He probably put down 120. Whatever's left on my credit card, just go ahead. Yeah. And- yeah. You can just max out. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. In- until Damn. it says tilt, you can just keep bringing me drinks. Imagine. Well, yeah. I've heard other wrestlers talk about like hit by a thirty pack and just sit there and just drink it himself, right? And like nothing, yeah, and not even really get a buzz on it. Yeah, but, yep. yeah, just like it's water. Yeah, but Andre the Giant's like drinking exploits are just legendary. Wow. Yeah. Legendary. Oh, yeah. He's my hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How is that? I mean, how are those not like Guinness World Records or whatever? Like, as far as mm. I mean, is it just like I guess there was no Guinness official to be right. there on site? They were Bastards. too drunk. Yeah. yeah. They were passed Andre out the, by the time Andre was done. Yeah, no yeah. kidding, man. Probably so. So wow. they all drink half of what you're having, and they oh, died. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> probably what happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Uh, poor Andre. Too bad he couldn't still be with us. That's true. Mm-hmm. He's the man. You know, they have he, the... What's what's the Andre Battle Royale? Oh, Andre have? the Giant. Oh, God. We classic, have to bring that classic, up. whatever. Yeah. What, what do they have at WrestleMania? We should have our own Andre the Giant <laughs> classic. Oh, oh my man. God. Drink till we pass out. Yeah. yeah just, drink an eighth of what he drank. Yeah. Oh, and see if you're still alive. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Talk about preventing kidney stones. Oh, oh Jesus. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's awful. I mean, I can't imagine like drinking that much. Like, let's try it. <laughs> we should all try and put down a I'll give him my pack. best shot. Yeah. You know what's crazy is like his forearm, or I'm sorry, his like fist was probably about the size of all of our heads. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, his so, hands looked miniature in his, right. his hand. Yeah, yeah. Can you can imagine like how many drinks he could just put down by accident? Just like, I <laughs> hey, I didn't feel that one. I got to drink this one now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, god damn, eight point four percent. That's apple juice. You needed probably about a case to really like taste what we're drinking. Oh man, I met yeah, right. God, he's so big. Yeah, it must be uh, kind of sad almost. A he's like, bit. I just want to catch a buzz. You know, so two, I got to two drink cases like, later. Yeah, I got to show up at happy hour and make sure I drink like you know <laughs> until next happy. Yeah, 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 exactly. Bring me everything you got while it's still happy hour. Yeah, no kidding. just hook a line up to you to draft there and just mm-hmm. <laughs> keep it coming. Get Sit them under the keg. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'd wow. be fun. A keg was probably a fucking can for him. <laughs> That's <laughs> how big he was. 
<laughs> yeah, a the, keg to him was a bomber. No kidding. Yeah. They bring a yeah. keg out. Where's your can opener? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no fucking kidding. He was huge. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Legend. Uh, legendary. The hero of the show. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Forever. Mm-hmm. We should have our own Andre the Giant classic. We should. Yeah, I agree. We'll have to figure out what Andre involves. the Giant drink off. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We're all fucked. God damn it. <laughs> While we're watching Wolf Cop. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll never remember. Oh, oh man. The next day, like, so what you think of Wolf Cop? What? <laughs> we watched Wolf Cop? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. That's the right way to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to watch Wolf it. Wolf Cop would be proud. Uh, so what is Dad Scott? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. would be. In the, in the sequel. <laughs> nope. The wise one. Yeah. <laughs> Drink, young white. It's young white hopper. Young grasshopper. <laughs> <White topper. laughs> Had a few. Young drunk hopper. That's right. It's this budget buzz I'm working on right now. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Thank you all for tuning. In. Do you tune into a podcast? I suppose. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Why not? Scott's people do. Yeah, they tune into things. You click into it. Yeah. <laughs> you place the tubes first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh God! If you guys want to find us, theunfilteredgentleman.com. Not only can you listen to the show that way, but you can find uh, all of our beers of the week. If you're looking for beer suggestions, there it is right there. And many other things. Get us on social medias. Facebook, Unfiltered Gentleman. On Instagram, The Unfiltered Gentleman. On Twitter, at Unfiltered Gents. And of course, please, 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 drunk call us. Leave us a message. 805-538-BEER. Like, seriously, just program that, program that into your phone. Get real drunk and just, just dial. Just hit it. Hit that before you call Uber. Yeah. yeah. Try to do like an impression of somebody or oh, something. Please. Oh, please. Oh, my God. <laughs> Could you imagine like drunk, horrible Trump impression? No, I'm going to do an impression yeah. of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so drunk. It's tremendous. Oh, my God. Tremendous oh, drunkness. It's got to be huge. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mix between drunk Trump and he's going to puke oh from God. Vince McMahon. McMahon and Trump. Yeah. Mick Trump. Mick Trump. Yeah. It's a good sandwich. Uh, so anyways, that's all the details. Also, don't forget, we talked about it last week. I'm trying to figure out some sort of a big group beer tasting. So if Agreed. you have, have any ideas, let us know. Yep. Uh, the email is theunfilteredgentleman at gmail.com. I think that's everything. Thank you guys for listening. Keep telling friends about the show. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.